Hi, Sam the Old Man here. We had some major changes to the game matches. Uh, the first one, if we could go into the player profile, you click on the image of the face at the top, and then you click on skills, and it gives you a list here of all the different skills uh, that you've got. And if you click on the skill, it tells you about the, the details of that, but we're going to come back to that because there's so much that has changed and it all links together. So let's get out of the player profile and we're gonna go into the spells section. You can see you've got tier one through tier five spells now and many of them are locked and that depends on what level you are for that type of spell. That's my dark arts. We've got sorcery, we've got incantations, and we've got what's invocations. And then down the bottom, there's your spell slots that you can choose for making your deck of what you can cast. And for my level, I can have three uh, spell slots unlocked. You start with two spell slots unlocked. Uh, so leveling up is going to be really important. So getting from uh, level 1 through level 10, and then 10 to 20, that's where you, uh, you get the new spell slots. And getting five spell slots, that's the first key, because there's not much you can do with just three spots. Next, you've got crafts. You go to the bottom, you see tonic. And that tonic replenishes with time. That means you can't just sit there and do uh, crafting non-stop for hours on end. Even if you have the resources to do that, you have to like do it a little bit at a time. That's important because health potion, and now you need to use health potions to regain your health. So getting your health potion and crafting lots of health potions, that's going to be super important. And going to find ginger and rose water to do that, you need to do that as much and as fast as you can. And we go here, you see my health, it's at full health. But if we fight this monster now, fight. Fortunately, he was right on top of me. It's loading. Here we go. I'm going to just cast this these spells. Here we go. Cast them quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yes, I got all five in, in time. And you're going to see, I'm going to take some damage from this monster. In fact, I'm going to take a lot of damage from this monster. Uh, let's see. It might be close. No, I should, I should be able to take it. In fact, I didn't take any damage because he didn't cast anything to hurt me. And he still... Oh no, he hurt, hurt me a little bit. He hurt me 10 health. Alright, so this should be the last one. But you're going to see at the end, uh, my health... Oh, I only got one in that time. Here we go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. And that should, that should have him. I should, I should win this battle now. But you're going to see my health, it isn't going to replenish at the end of this match. Oh, he's still got a little bit left. Alright, let's magic arrow. Whoops. Magic it. Ah, didn't quite get them in. There we go, I've killed him though. I won! <laughs> and we look at my health when it loads. Loading, loading. So I think that a lot of this loading helps with the RAM memory performance. There we go, I'm on 206 out of 220 health. And to get back to full health, I have to use a health potion. So, super important, go get your resources uh, for crafting. Specifically for your health potion. If you don't have health potion, you need to get that ASAP. Then, you want to go craft. Craft your health potion much as you can and then once you've got some health potions you can go fight monsters and replenish your health after fighting them to fight more monsters to get gold and once you've got your gold you can go into the store we're gonna go back over here to the shop recipes and spells and you can buy more spells and recipes and that's how you get uh, level up in this game now and many of these uh, here it doesn't actually say in the store what level you have to be to use them, uh, but you actually have to level up your, your ability before you can use a lot of the more complex uh, recipes and spells. So now that we've covered uh, you know, the new spell system and how the, the importance of crafting, 
uh, we're going to go back into our character and back into our skill tree and look at some of these things. So the sorcery level spells, uh, I'm once you hit level 20, you can buy new your first one's level 10, then you can buy tier 2 spells, level 20, tier 3, level 30, tier 4, and level 40, tier 5. That's important because it's the same thing for each different type of spell. And you have to use that type of spell to get experience and points to level up to get the better spells. Uh, and then Dark Arts. So that's how the spell leveling up works. But this is the important one, the player level. As your player level increases, this is where you get to add an extra deck slot for more spells. So the first one, level 10, you add one deck slot. But the important one, level 20. Get to level 20 as fast as you can, because having five deck slots gives you so much more flexibility and uh, options for creating your spell deck and the different spells that you can do. The next one, brewing. Alright, so once you get to level 10, you can increase your tonic reservoir. That's going to be really important, so that you can sit down uh, in the evening, watch some TV, and brew up all your potions for the next day. And the more tonic you have, the more potions you can brew up, the more you can play the next day. Next, exploration. So you get exploration by having the game open and traveling, and getting distance in-game. Uh, and then also exploring dungeons. I'm not sure that dungeons have been added to the game yet. That's probably the last feature, or the last major feature, to be added to the game. And then Herbalore. Now the Herbalore uh, features, that doesn't open yet. That probably still has to be added to the game as well. And also chests as well, I didn't mention that. You can get chests now, and you get different items in the chests. Uh, I'll go find some that chest shortly and we'll go open it and I'll show you what it happens. But dueling, so the reason you're playing the game is to level up, get more spells, uh, add complexity to your deck, create really complex and awesome strategies so that you can go duel and then there's a ranked dueling system coming to the game. It's going to be awesome. I found a chest. Here it is. I was going after a different chest but it disappeared. It looks like they only spawned for a certain period of time. Look at the chests. It takes a little while to load, or maybe, there we are. Oh, I'm too far, I gotta get closer. Okay, closer we get. Let's see if I'm close enough now. I'm still too far. I'm right on top of the chest now. So there we go, close enough. So this is one of two, so you can hold two chests at a time, and if you click on that little chest, it comes up with this. And you have to spend time to unlock it, depending on the level of chest it is. This basic common one takes 15 minutes. So what you do is you click on that. And then what you can do, is you can actually click reduce, and you can watch an ad, and then after the ad's done, you open it instantly. It's an awesome idea. So you can spend time, wait 15 minutes, or you can open it instantly. Uh, I'm not on Wi-Fi, so I'm going to wait my 15 minutes. Uh, I'll be back. I'm back home now, and it's been uh, 15 minutes, so we can open this chest. So click to open, and what you get is a whole bunch of stones. You pick three to try and get your favorite stuff. Uh, now I still don't really have a favorite stuff, uh, so I'm just picking a random three. Uh, well, obviously the three sage is better than the one, and a magic wand could be good. Um, and some of them are really, really good. Uh, you can spend ten gold to get a better try, which I've never done, so let's do that now. Discard, re-roll. Select items sh that should be re-rolled. Okay, well let's re-roll that one, and re-roll the wand. Can I do two? Maybe I can only do one. One at a time. Choose one stone to find your loot. Alright, so it's ten gold to re-roll one item. Ooh, a magic bean! Ah, and then the next re-roll costs twenty. And let's re-roll the magic wand and get that one. 
Uh, that's a really poor potion. Oh, and it's 40, so it looks like the cost doubles every single time you re-roll. Uh, so choose wisely. I'll take those items. I'll take it there. We'll take some more rose water. And there's another chest already. But uh, I need to make more healing potions. See, my health is down. I've been fighting monsters. I need to make more healing potions so I can get up to full health just to make sure that I win because you never know how tough the monster's going to be. All right. So in the coming up episodes, uh, I'm going to be playing lots and lots of Magus. I'm getting really bored of Pokemon Go. I mean, it's just the same thing over and over and over again now. And I've got nearly all the Pokemon and nothing new. So, Magis it is. Uh, make sure you subscribe to get more of my videos. And uh, heading off to Thailand soon.